The National Alliance spoke for the first time after the Grand Chief's passing, saying he was a great leader of the party. I learned from him as a parliamentary leader, so engaging, very tolerant. He put others first, but yet, you know, he's big in his heart too. NA says his contribution to the party and the country he helped form was distinguished. But as a par parliamentary leader of National Alliance Party, and if you know Sir Michael, he's forever engaging. He will, and, and that's one of the hallmark of uh, my relationship with him. He taught me, stop talking, start listening. So I'm already passing that to my younger members of parliament in my own party, in the National Alliance Party, and said, you mean leader assembly time, you must have the National Alliance Party was the last Semiko led and served under in his political life before successor Patrick Proich. To Semiko, the NA leader was more than a colleague politician. He was his nephew. I'm country blow me. I mean, all the same. And expectation low place. I have that right, not Arthur and Sana. I have that right to take over from him. So traditionally for me, it was okay, I can manage that. In 2002, Sir Michael and NA were invited to form government as a majority party. Together with other coalitions, Somare ruled an uninterrupted government for a five-year period, the first for any government in PNG. The following election saw the party again invited to form government, its term in office disbanded by a vote of no confidence in the Prime Minister, Sir Michael Somare, who was seeking medical treatment overseas. That move was later deemed illegal by the Supreme Court. We ran two elections and he, he formed two consecutive governments. Mm. And that's something that's never happened in Papua New Guinea. Back to back. Back to back. Back to back government. Sir Michael remained an NA until his passing. The party says it cherishes the contribution of Sir Michael and will be forever grateful. He laid the foundation for economic independence. If the LNG projects revenue are realized, I don't think we'll be in their need of foreign reserves, so asking for people to come on board and assisting us with loans and all that. Bradley Valenaki, National MTV News.